Awesome. What's up, LA? How's everyone doing? I hope you're all incredibly hungry, and this will make you only hungrier. So my name is Cody Barbo. I'm the founder and CEO of Industry, a professional network and hiring solution for the service and hospitality industry. So think of us like a LinkedIn for the service and hospitality industry. So I remember uh, you know, many of you probably worked in a restaurant or bar back in the day. And the problem is that problem is a pain in the ass to get a job. There's paper resumes, there's Craigslist, still the most commonly used tools in the service and hospitality industry. And on top of that, there's a 72% turnover across the country. In addition, there's been over 78 consecutive months of jobs growth. So you're probably thinking, why not LinkedIn? LinkedIn is just not something that relates to the service industry. Many people don't know what it is, so we can't even use it as a comparable. And LinkedIn also doesn't target other sectors. So we've seen the rise of vertical networks like Doximity for the medical community and RallyPoint for military. And industry is targeting these 17 million people in the United States and 200 million worldwide that are working in restaurants, bars, clubs, and hotels. And it's everyone from that first time job seeker to the career builder all the way up to the seasoned veteran. Now, what's great about it is with industry, your profile is your resume. Chefs can highlight photos of their food, bartenders their drinks, and even that first time job seeker can record a video resume to highlight their personality. Now for businesses, we offer a simple hiring solution and applicant tracking system, but the businesses can also take advantage of a beautiful portfolio to highlight their company culture and show off their best people. Now we place our customers in two buckets. There's the storefront, restaurants, bars, clubs, and hotels, and the specialty space, like music festivals. And just on the job site alone, not including our other revenue streams, this is a $24 billion opportunity for us. Now, we make our money a little bit differently. Most job sites are a pay per post model or a subscription. But we didn't want to do that because it doesn't guarantee applicants, let alone quality applicants. So we do a pay per qualified applicant model where the business sets the requirements and they only pay when value is created or when someone that actually meets what they're looking for applies to the job. Now, we're live in nine markets across the West Coast. We have a lot of local clients, but some of our bigger ones include MGM Resorts International, the Walt Disney Company. We're casting for the next two seasons of Hell's Kitchen. And we have a partnership with the Washington Restaurant Association that powers the hiring for over 6,000 restaurants across the state of Washington. Now, at the end of the day, what really drives us in our company is our mission, to make service and hospitality professionals more likely to succeed in their careers. And our vision is to connect the world's service industry. So with that said, my name is Cody. I'm from Ministry, and thank you for your time. Cody, nice job. Thank you. Who goes first? There, there's been a like a you know whole bunch of companies started out to solve this problem you know in the last couple of years um, you know what what makes you different from the other models? Yeah, so many of the sites that even are some service industry specific are just focused on providing businesses a place to review resumes. So you're still uploading a PDF of your resume on almost all these services. So really feel that with a lot of millennials now taking over the service industry, they speak through their work whether it's the food, the drinks, or their personality, it's the visual-based profiles that are gonna bring people to the platform initially. And then in the long term, it's really building it into a network where they can connect with each other, seek out mentorship, and opportunities that may probably have never been discovered uh, from another job site. It's a mobile app for the, uh, for the worker? So it's, it's uh, both on mobile and desktop. And we see really interesting user habits between the desktop, which is mostly the business owners, and mobile with all of our applicants and users. Mm -hmm. So, Sorry, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> What's the profile of the typical applicant? I see having this more robust profile makes sense for mm -hmm. chefs, but do restaurants care about this level of detail for wait staff? Yeah, they really do. So the average cost for a restaurant, even mom and pop shops, to recruit, hire, and train an employee is about $2,000, and many of them don't know this cost. So we want to really help educate them that using a platform like industry will cut back on that time that management will be using to review applicants, cut back on the time to honestly not hire someone who's going to get fired the next week. And if we can cut that cost down for them and educate them around the process, they wouldn't use any other software but industry. How do you see the business model evolving? Because I can see how this can become a more targeted search and more targeted uh, discovery for people and saying, I right. want a bartender who has 10 years experience yeah. and has worked in a, 
a top restaurant or top bar rather than you know something in a small town. Right, so going back to that paper qualified applicant model, so we charge a range of prices based on the position type and the level of experience that a business requires. So really entry level positions might be a dollar, but that executive chef or management position might be 25. We give that price point up front to the business owner to decide whether they want to put a cap on the spend or leave it uncapped. So for big hotels and nightclubs in Vegas, they, can, they just want the best looking people at the end of the day. And the way they get around that is hiring a model bartender, model cocktail server. So almost like a surge pricing model around really competitive enterprise clients that just want the best talent uh, versus having to do a manual process like it is today. Mm -hmm. um, what's your monthly revenue, monthly burn? Uh, so I'll share our burn. Our burn is about 136 a month. We got a bigger team. Um, we're not going to share. Yeah, it's a good sized team. We uh, we don't share our numbers, and for a specific reason, we have competitors out there. Um, yeah. So why just 600 restaurants? If it's compelling, if it's differentiated, if it's unique. I mean, the restaurant industry is a small industry in some respects. They all talk mm -hmm. at industry associations. Why just 600? Oh, so 600 is not our total number. Okay. So yeah, so the Washington Restaurant Association has 6,000 member restaurants using the platform. So how how are you? How many restaurants do you have? Total. Prox yeah, approximately using uh, the platform. It's, it's well over 10,000 now. Okay. Yeah. One more question. Yeah. Why are you here? Uh, we uh, got this opportunity because we just made the cut, uh, and things have gotten really well the last two months. So this is a great opportunity to showcase SoCal startups, and okay. hopefully you know someone that works in a restaurant that could be on our platform. There you go. So you, you just raised two and a half, I guess it was in the description. Uh, it's Did you, or you have not a term announced. Sheet? So you have not announced, right? Now it is. So. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we did not raise. So but, yeah. yeah, it didn't say. It just said there was. Um, I think it said a term sheet news. or something. <laughs> but w with that money, like, where do you want to get? Like, how how do you see the company getting the next yeah, level? Yeah, so we we really want to focus on those nine markets on the West Coast and scaling them effectively, not just on the business side, but really the users. The users is where we see the most potential and increased revenue streams on an advertising platform. I think is going to be bigger than the job listings themselves because you think of all the entities that are required to open up a restaurant or bar. They have a really hard time getting in front of the decision makers because they're so busy running the venues. And if you look at Facebook's advertising platform, not that we'll be that big, it's, it's a small microcosm of what the revenue potential specifically around advertising in the service industry could be for so us. In terms of like revenue run rate, um, you know, annualized, we're, so to raise Series A, the bar's pretty high. Yeah. Um, you know, how much do you need to raise and how much, how far will that, this, this, so the, the round that we currently raised that we haven't announced is going to last us for 18 months. We wanted to have enough runway to drive profit within the business. I think that building a sustainable business is far more important to us than chasing the next round of capital or some crazy valuation. And we're really, over half our teams worked in the service industry. If we're driving value for those people and we're making money, it's, it's a win-win for all parties. Okay, great. Yeah. Thanks, Cody. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, guys.